Hi, I'm Alicia and welcome to my channel Papercraft Secrets. Today I'm sharing a set of four Z fold cards. This is a fancy fold tutorial, but it's quick and easy to make and it has a lovely effect that's different to a normal folded card. Today I'm using the beautiful, shabby chic and vintage homemade collection by Minte. In these photos you can see how the front cover is folded and it creates a Z formation. I'm going to take you step by step through how I made each of the cards. So let's get started. We're going to begin with two 12 by 12 white cardstock pieces and we're going to cut those at six inches. So we will have four 12 by 6 inch rectangles that will be the base for our cards. Now we're going to fold our cards simply in half and then we fold the front part back in half again. It's that simple. Fold it in half, fold the front section back in half again. That is how easy it is to create a Z fold card. Quick and easy and just a little bit different. Sometimes it's nice to make a card that is just that little bit different to a normal standard card. So there's our four card bases all ready to go. Now this is the beautiful six by six inch paper pad for homemade. And honestly, the papers in here are just amazing. I'm going through to choose which papers that I might be using for my cards. I'm going to need four papers for the inside of the cards. And I'm going to need another four for the front section. So you're going to need eight papers all together. There's my first four for the inside. Now I'm looking for four for the front cover. So for the front part of the card, I'm actually cutting these at 2 inches and 15 sixteenths. Because you're, it's a 6 inch square, but you're folding it in half, so you are going to need a little bit of space for the fold in the card. If you cut your paper directly at 3 inches, you'll find that you've just got a little bit too much paper that will overhang. So I cut each of my rectangles at 2 and 15 16 inches by 6 inches. Now we're going to glue our pages onto our card. So this is going to go on the inside of the card. And you want to make sure that you've got that lined up really neatly with the base of the card. So let's glue all of those down first. I didn't trim those cut those papers down. I found that they fit, fitted in quite nicely, but if you wanted a small white border around the edge, you could trim that paper down as well. So 
This will be our third card, the lovely embroidery hoop picture. And on to our fourth card. So we're letting the beautiful papers do all of the work in this set of cards. Because the designs on in this collection are just beautiful. There we go. So that is all four cards. And we've got the back page in now ready to go. So now we're going to move on to our front page. Now when I chose my papers, I tried to match them to the paper that was already in the card. So for example, on this card, I matched that lace, blue and white lace paper. That folds up beautifully. Because we took that little bit off it, the, the, the fold has a nice opportunity to fold neatly. And we're just going to continue on now with the rest of the cards and we're going to glue the front pages together. So that's our last one that we need to glue on now. And that means that all of the base papers are glued safely down onto our card bases. Let's fold those up. Now we're going to start the embellishing of our cards. And I've chosen four wooden chipboard wreaths as the main part of my embellishment, as the structure of my embellishment. And I'm inking those. I'm going to use a pink Kayser Craft ink pad and a soft bluey green Kayser Craft ink pad to ink each of my wooden wreaths. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my ink pad to ink the edges and the folds of each card. This just adds a little bit of definition to, to the card and around the edges of the paper. We're going to repeat that inking of the edges to each of the four cards. On the pink cards we'll use the pink ink and on the blue cards we'll use the blue ink. So we've got our cards ready and we've got our wooden wreaths ready. So now we're going to look for two flowers for each of the cards. I'm choosing two blue flowers for the blue cards and two pink flowers for the pink cards. I'm doing my best to find a big flower and a small flower for each. I've also found a happy birthday wooden sentiment that I'm going to use on the cards and they'll all ink those sentiments to match as well. And I'm also going to be using a paper doily which will go underneath the wooden wreath 
chipboard. And this adds to the shabby chic look of the card. When you're gluing it in, just you might want to put a little piece of cardboard just there so that it doesn't glue down to the base of the card. I'm just going to glue the wreath on now because some of that glue might just slip through the holes of the doily. So having the piece of cardboard there will just stop any of that sort of gluing down onto the card. So we're just going to layer one doily and one wooden wreath onto each card. So for the sentiment for each of the cards, we're using a wooden happy birthday sentiment and we're going to ink those with the same ink that we have used on each card. Now we are up to the next step of our card. And what we're going to do is we're going to create some bows with our shabby chic crinkled ribbon because this always looks lovely on card. So we're going to create a bow in pink for each of the cards and we're also going to create a bow in grey for each of the cards. Our next step is to use some of this lovely lace. It has little dangly bits coming down. So it's going to pop on with our crinkled ribbon bows and it's just going to add a little bit of lace into each card. The next step is to have a little think about the placement of the flowers. I'm thinking of having the ribbon on the left hand side with a flower and then a flower sort of diagonally opposite on the right hand side. So that's my rough plan. I'm also going to be using some of these little flower stamens to add a little bit of interest to the cards underneath. They will poke out from underneath the flowers. I found some chipboard leaves that I thought I might incorporate into my cards and I'm inking these leaves with a green ink and these little leaves will poke out from underneath my flowers and this will add extra detail into my card. I decided to cut a little bit more lace and this will hang down from my flower on the right side of each of the cards. I've just about got everything ready to go now so I'm ready to start gluing on all of my embellishments onto my card. So I'm starting with this little cluster here with the lace and my crinkled ribbons and then next to that I'm going to put my flower and underneath that I'm going to put my little green leaf and my little stamen, flower, flower stamen and then on the opposite side I'm going to add my lace and my leaf and my flower, remembering just to be careful that you're not getting glue through to the next part of the card. 
my sentiment I'm just going to position off center there and I fussy cut some cute little butterflies out of the homemade collection to decorate my card and that's the first card done it's very quick and easy once you've got everything ready then it's easy to just glue everything on together there's my ribbons and my lace there's my my flower I'm going to put this one at the top of the bow this time there's my leaves I'm going to pop my other flower over there, a little bit of lace, a leaf, and my flower, and then my happy birthday sentiment. I'm going to put that down the bottom, and then I have two butterflies. I fussy cut two butterflies for each card. one over there and this one I'm going to put near the happy birthday sentiment. Moving on now to my third card. My hot glue gun is warmed up now so I'm going to switch to my hot glue gun which will make things stick faster. Popping on the ribbon Will I put my flower at the bottom on this one? Yes, I think I do. Slip it, slip it in there at the bottom. My green leaf. And then I'm going to have my other floral cluster up the top in a diagonal opposite from that flower. There's my lace and my leaves. my flower, my little bit of flower stamen, my happy birthday sentiment, My two little butterflies, one over there and one near the sentiment. And now onto the final card. Using my hot glue gun, the lace, the ribbon. This is a bulk set of cards, so each card is made this in a similar way. The flowers going underneath the ribbon, and then the other floral cluster on the right hand side. Oops, don't forget my green leaf. Pop in some glue there for the lace. the leaf. Oops. Sometimes that hot glue string gets in the way doesn't it? There's my flower and my sentiment. I'm not using the hot glue gun for the sentiment because it's hard to not let the glue show through. My little twig, flower twig. In there, pop it in on this card, a little bit of hot glue. You can add as much as you like under your flowers, or as little as you like under your flowers. I thought I'd decorate the inside of the card just quite briefly. I'm going to add a doily on the inside that will match the doily on the front. I 
And then I'm going to use these frames from the frame book for the Minte Fussy Cutting Books. Um, there are, there's a pink and a blue frame that I'm going to use. So I'm actually using two pinks and two blues to match in with the cards. And that's just going to get pasted in on top of the doily so that there's a space to write a small message on each of the cards. So you can see the inside of the card there. It's got the blue frame on the doily where you can write your message and it's totally hidden from the front section of the card. I'm also adding just a little bit of fussy cutting. I didn't want to add too much. You could add as much as you wanted depending on how much you wanted to decorate the inside of your card. I'm just using one little floral cluster on each card for a little bit of decoration. And here's the close-up of the card. I did put a little bit of glitter on the flowers if they didn't already have glitter on them. And I added a little pearl to the flowers. But you can see how the card opens and folds in a Z formation. And that's the completed cards. I do hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And I would love to see your take on a Z Fold card with any of the Minte papers and collections. Thank you so much for watching. I would love it if you subscribe to my YouTube channel and have a lovely crafty day.